Thank you for listening to Depictions Media Radio. back everyone i want you to meet an old friend of mine Teresa collins she is the owner of blended spirit wellness and academy renowned psychic reiki master life coach hypnotherapist and mystic arts teacher she is also a mama of two and she's been married for over 30 years she has written two books including the successful Time to Shine Journal Workbook, available on Amazon. Assisted in over 60,000 healings in the last decade and taught hundreds in self and spiritual development. The nature and fun teacher Teresa loves teaching in her academy in person and you may find her on other places besides um, my podcast she has been on several other podcasts and uh, TV shows specializing in helping women through trauma and opening a whole new world of opportunities you can work with her one-on-one in her healing studio in Surrey, BC, which is very close to where our studio is. So why don't we welcome Teresa to the show as we find out how she does some of the work that she does, and we really want to focus on the healing women through trauma. the show Teresa how's it going oh it's wonderful thanks for having me today so I'm real I remember I remember blended spirit in the very beginning in the wee stages of things right and you've grown through leaps and bounds so why in the world did you start it to begin with again uh, honestly, I started out of a pure need. My kids were really, really sick. Um, I was born psychic. I could see when spirit uh, was there. It kind of scared me, so I shut down. Um, and then I was raised in a Catholic school, so I could feel spirit, and that was not appropriate, so I shut that down. Um, and growing up, I had uh, kind of grew up on the wrong side of the tracks. So I had a team of guides and intuition that protected me. Um, but it wasn't until my kids were in and out of children's hospital for four years that I realized I needed to activate my healer. And I'd like to say that I did it, but I kind of got my butt kicked. Um, I was working for a lady who was doing readings, and we were at a trade show in Calgary. 
and uh, we were in the hot tub, actually in the hotel after the show, and a very powerful psychic basically stood up and told me to get my shit together. And about three hours later, she told me exactly what I needed to do to help myself and my family and the thousands and thousands of women that were waiting for me. So I came home and I began my Reiki journey. I, uh, I took level one, two, three teacher training. I fell into different masters and within six months, my kids got better. And um, my son got off all the antipsychotics. And then my second one, I started to heal from depression. And lastly, my husband got off all his antidepressants. And my family was starting to be whole and healed. And I was like, okay, what can I do now? So I uh, did 250 healings my first year, and mm -hmm. I basically just gave my gift away. I just uh, helped wherever I could, wherever needed me. And uh, it wasn't long after that that I met you, actually, Michael. I had just tapped into being a real business. Um, I expanded from one room to two, and um, literally, I, I just started seeing thousands. I've done over 6,000 healings since I started. Um, yeah. It just... I opened the floodgates and the women that came. <laughs> yeah. Okay, for, for for those of you who out there who aren't into the woo woo, you're just gonna have these excuses for a little while, okay? But um, on the woo woo okay, side, okay, hold on a sec before I go too far on that. This isn't just woo woo, my friend. This is quantum. This is science. Oh, this is the biofield. This is a measurable thing. Oh yeah, science yeah, is catching yeah. up with it, honey buns. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I, to I totally agree with you. That's why I told them to, to, to pause your, your hot little heels for a second and, and yeah. listen up, right? Yeah. Because yeah. Um, one thing that you did do for me was you said you were going to open a door for me to do something amazing. I don't yeah. know if you remember that or not. But <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I like to say I do, but honestly, I channel my sessions, so I usually don't remember them after. Yeah, that, that, that it's all good, right? <laughs> but um, but I've been but I've been podcasting, and we 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 left the because you were on the, on our radio show uh, when we were on. Um, yeah, when we were on, on radio, and we have since left the radio station, and we have grown bigger. Yeah. Because the radio, it, as it turned out, it the the radio station was keeping us small. Leaps and bounds, my friend. And, I know. And, that's... You, and you're the one who said to do it, you know. So Honestly, how in, in our session, in our conversation, I, just, I remember, yeah. remember the the, the tea, <laughs> the coffee, the, the the tea, the cookies, and the and all that, and and it was like, wow. Yeah. Well, I am happy to be part of your your journey. That makes me so, yeah, so honestly. That fills my soul. That's why I do these things. Yeah, so <laughs> it's like so cool to hear to hear how you're growing and that you've helped like over six thousand people. You said and, and we we mentioned. Yeah, and that. honestly, that's an understatement. I see twenty plus a week. Uh, I see two groups. Uh, when I do trade shows, I see over one hundred fifty people in two to three days. Yeah. Um, I uh, I sh honestly I show up and show off wherever I can. Yeah. So, <laughs> so for for, for those for for those who who aren't familiar with the science, there is a lot of science because spirit is energy, and that's yeah. where the quantum physics actually comes in, right? Yeah, there's so many different layers. I mean, if you think about it in grade four, we all learned everything was molecules and energy. So the science is not new. Um, one of my favorite things to do is I have a lot of clients with Apple Watches. And uh, they have such measurable effects in their blood pressure and their heart rate and their sleep cycles. Um, mm. It just, like, you can see the actual results for an individual. Um, it's basically what we're doing is we're just teaching your body what it naturally is meant to do. It's naturally meant to heal. You cut yourself and your body heals. Right. Uh, we just get in our way and we get all stressed and we get all that nastiness of anxiety and stuff. Uh, and Reiki just helps your body get back to its rest period where it can use the oxygen it breathes to increase your circulation and lower your blood pressure and help you see things clearly. Yeah. It's very, very cool stuff. Yeah. So, um, really, we're just in our own way, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we we just gotta keep keep from tripping over ourselves, right? Yeah, and I do too. I, I do this for I, a living, but I still do too. I see well, coaches myself. Well, it, you know, um, to be honest with you, before before. 
before I started doing this, I was a little more skeptical about it, even though, like you said, I, I have the, the Catholic school background also, is like, I could, um, I could feel and hear things, mm -hmm. and it wasn't cool, right? The nuns would tell you, that's not cool. Well, they tell you to be afraid, and there's nothing to be afraid of. It is yeah. truly where God is visiting us. Yeah. So, um, and our creator himself is, is the ultimate energy, right? Yeah, he's one of the energies. Yeah. <laughs> lots, of, lots of things going on. There's yeah. a lot of things going on. If you, if you think about where you're sitting in that room, you know, there's so many layers than just looking at me. There's 60,000 points of information that are going through. There's the things you see, the hear, you touch, you smell. Um, and then there's a whole dimension happening beyond that. So it's like the, the radio waves and the, you know, we've got the Wi-Fi. Science is showing us that there's so much more than meets the eye. Um, and it's just another level, another level of the unseen. With all, with all the, the the radio waves, the Wi-Fi, all that sort of stuff, I like to tell people that it's all, it's because we're all living in the light. Uh, some of us, not all of us. <laughs> so, <laughs> not all of us. Anyway, um, one of your, I, I shouldn't say favorite, but one of, you, one of the things that I know you do a lot of work with is women who experience trauma and they're trying yeah. to get around that trauma and, f and find find their way back to to that success and that light so. yeah and they're really not living in the lights video and that's why i say not all of us uh darkness is a very real thing and it can creep right. in whether you have a million dollars in the bank or a buck to your name um it doesn't care if you're rich or not it doesn't even care if you have a you're surrounded by people if you are, are living in this darkness of trauma, it can just be a shadow that lives with you every day. And until you actually look at it, and it's hard to look at it on your own. Oh, my God, it's terrifying. Um, and that's where I come in. I'll, I'll hold your hand through the darkness. I'll, I'll cry with you. I'll, I'll battle the demons. Uh, I'll hold space, and I'll believe in you more than you've ever believed in yourself until you understand it's true. Yeah. Yep, and you are good at holding space. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <So, laughs> one, one, one of the talents that we have in common is like um, me sitting me with the camera between me, between me and whoever I'm talking to and holding that space so you just feel comfortable to be you, right? Yeah, and I love it. Thank you for showing up and showing off the way you do every day. Yeah. And ev everybody needs needs to know that they can do that. So yeah, that, it takes two, right? Like, you know, we are meant to be connected. We're meant to reach out for help. As I said, I do this professionally, but I see five different people. I have healers, I have coaches, I have uh, many people in my personal tribe at this level that help and assist me, so I can assist many more. Yeah, we're, we're meant to be together. So how did you build the whole system that you have now? Um, consistency. <laughs> uh, persistence. Stupidity some days. Um, pure imagination. Uh, most things you see is a figment of my imagination. So I'll be, wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning and think, oh, oh, I can do that. I should do that. How can I do that? And then I start working with spirits and guides and connections and people. I'll share share my vision with somebody, and they'll be like, oh, yeah, I can help with that. And next thing you know, we're there. Um, and it's like, gratefully, I've always had this deeper calling that there's more. Um, and, I, and I would like to reach my full potential in this life. So what that means is it doesn't mean I don't have to be perfect. Uh, I just have to see a need and fill a need. And bigger better every day so it's uh, it comes from my core wound of actually being not enough which is so funny because everybody is maybe watching here feels not enough um, but when you shift it into a strength and you realize that that is really just the search the seeking the abundance the prosperity the bigger better mm -hmm. uh, it's it's an incredible strength yeah how did and how does it, that that part like I do that. Consistence. Consistency steps. I use technology. Um, I make goals. I do dream boards. I um, 
mm, I deal with a lot of the fear. Like, I do a lot of my own healing. Mm -hmm. So, if something scares me, it's usually because it's going to be really big. So, instead of running away, I tackle it. I see it. I hear it. I love it. I release it. Um, and I do it in spite of myself sometimes. Um, and in spite of outside opinion, too. Like, I haven't always been supported in my life. And I'm often called crazy. And I say, yeah, I am crazy, but watch me do it. So it's okay to fail. It's okay to get messy. It's okay to try a thousand things. Uh, the important thing is just keep going. Yeah. Is failure really failure or is it just, hey, I learned something? Oh, no, I fuck things up sometimes. Oh, sorry. Am I allowed to say that? <laughs> no, you're allowed to say that. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> full out, full out, flat on my face failed before. Uh, but I... Yeah, but I, what I'm getting don't at, beat myself if, up for it. If, if you... If, if you fell flat on your face, and I think of like um, like when you're learning to walk, right? Mm -hmm. You fell flat on your face, nearly broke your nose, and that, of course that's the advantage to kids having small noses; they don't break yeah. nearly as easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I see what you're saying. Is it really a failure? But it's you know, if I'm honest with myself, some things just fell flat, and that's okay because I learn and I shift and I grow and yeah. I don't give up. Yeah, see, that's what I was getting at. You learned something, yeah. right? Yeah. Sure. Like, so if you if you learn something, is it really failure? No, but you know, I think just being afraid of the word failure is what I really want to like um, portray here, because so many people are scared to fail, and so they don't even bother trying, and that really is the failure. Right. That's what I'm if trying to get at. don't do it is, at all, is how do we how do we see see failure differently so that we like okay all right that didn't work let's brush it off get back up again and and get get a wiggle going again and and start moving along uh, you know you know what i mean right yeah it's honest evaluation and honestly it does come from that place of loving yourself and being okay with it um and it's a work in progress right you're not you're not going to have it overnight it's just keep going um but you can go to a job, a J-O-B, and mess it up 65 times, and you're still going to feel just as terrible. Or you can start your own business and mess it up and grow and learn and expand oh. from that original that original yeah. event, right? Yeah, hey, hey, hang on one second to that, to that thought, right? It's like, okay, let's be totally honest with you. If you started your own business, you probably mucked it up like thousands of times more than you ever did as an employee. So yeah, <laughs> well, without getting fired, right? And I think that's where that fired. comes from, right? That fear of being fired, that fear of that F, right? You go in school, and if you you mess it up or you get it wrong, you're going to get an F. You're going to get a red mark on your page. Your parents are going to be disappointed, and people are going to think less of you, right? We have all this this terrible childhood experience that we're we're trying to battle as grown ups, and yeah. it's it's okay because we're all battling it together, right? We yeah. we all experience that. That poor little letter it gets written in red and it gets a bad name, right? Right? You can just feel it when I'm saying it, can you? That's amazing. The power of it. Like, but I will say this much is like along the way, it, um, maybe you can agree with it with this one, right? That okay, so I mucked some stuff up, but I had fun mucking it up, or I knew that uh, that it was my it was me. It laid on my shoulders, and I didn't have to worry about it being someone else. It, yeah, and I love that. And You've owned it, for sure. Right. Um, the key is to have fun, though. You're absolutely correct. And also, to own good or bad, you know, yellow or blue, it's still you. And once yeah. you own it, that's when you can start controlling it. Yeah. Right. And you teach that sort of stuff, too, don't you? I do teach that stuff. You bet. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what was the... Along, the, along the, your, your path to success in, what is it, two books, three books now? I've written two books and designed two decks of cards. Right. Two of my own oracle sets. Yeah. Yeah. Um, along, along that path is like, it's like, um, you've you stumbled, you tripped... And it's like, and you've learned. And it's like, is there anything that you would have changed? Well, I mean, you can't, you can say that, um, I probably would have changed some things with my kids. 
Uh, before I took on my healer, it would have been nicer if I had been a healer earlier. Um, that's obviously because as a parent, you always want to do better for your kids. Yeah. If I changed it, though, it wouldn't, they wouldn't be where they are now. And they're both spectacular humans. Like, so shifting anything would change who they are now. And I absolutely adore them. Um, as far as what I'm doing for me, I, I can see, like, so many ways I can help women with traumas because I experienced it. I didn't uh, read it in a book or I didn't take it in a course. I literally lived it, learned it, found my own steps. I didn't have any teachers to teach me or to hold me or to counsel me. Um, so a lot of this is self-taught that way. Mm -hmm. um, and I just, and that's what I teach them, the five tools that I used. And then they pick the one that works for them. Okay. So it, I couldn't have got where I am unless I'd experienced it all. Yeah. Before we, I'm going to ask you about the tools in, in, in a few minutes. Um, yeah. What was your story of trauma, if you don't mind? Sharing. Um, you know what? It's deep and it's personal. <laughs> you want to hear? It, you got to come see me. <laughs> <laughs> Not even the cliff notes, huh? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. what do what do you what do the tools look like then? And honestly, the first thing is breathe. You, it's you have it with you anytime, anywhere. Um, and just the breath can change everything. You take a big breath in, you hold it, and you exhale. And it just gives you that courage and strength to kind of manage anything that's coming up. Um, it also works on a, like a, a scientific level uh, with anxiety. It shifts your, your breath pattern. And when you get anxious, the first thing you do is hold your breath. So you're actually emotionally, mentally stunting yourself. Um, so if you find yourself in a situation where you're nervous or anxious or um you know, maybe it's just overwhelming or too big. Um, just breathe, right? Yeah. Just, just solid breathe. You can do it anytime, anywhere. You don't need any special skills. And as long as you're breathing, you're good. Right, right. Yeah, that, that, uh, that's my first one. I also adore journaling because that's my second book. I wrote a Time to Shine journal workbook, mm -hmm. um, and I taught people how to journal um, and gave them some 10 steps to do it and then 30 days of prompts. Because it gives you that perspective, it gives you that separation, it gives you uh, a clear understanding, it gives you power. Um, journaling is like one of my favorite tools. And of course, meditation. I'm not sure if you've heard of this thing called meditation, um, but it is uh, an amazing gift and it helps uh, control the mind monkeys. Right? From a scientific level, it increases your brain health. And if you have somebody that meditates every day that's 60, they can have the brain of a 26 year old. Uh, so it increases the circulation, increases your uh, immunity, your, your memory. It stops things like, um, now, and I, I don't want to speak to it because it's not confirmed, but it stops things like the brain clutter and the brain fog, helps people manage their ADHD. Um, there's been so many studies on how it really, really just improves the quality of your life. Well, you're just giving giving people information to, so they can go do their do do their own looking into it. Yes, absolutely. So, I, I welcome you to invest in, in all of those great ways meditation helps you. Yeah. So, was that five That's already? That, pardon me. Was that five already? No. Oh, you want five? Okay. So oh, yeah, you, uh, you said five. Four <laughs> is uh, having a sense of faith. Um, whether you believe in God, universe, or Allah, um, or maybe just yourself. Having a sense of faith is very, very, very important. And number five is reaching out for help when you need it. So whether it's somebody to clean your house, or someone to help you cut your grass, or maybe just somebody to help you hold the groceries in the lineup. Um, seeing a professional, or just tapping into that community of friends that you have, um, is definitely vital in your mental health. Yeah. Well, you know what? It, uh, I'm gonna sp I'm gonna speak to the, to the last two because the last two are very um, they've helped me tremendously, right? And um, faith is, is is that thing that that you know if you apply enough faith and love that that you find tremendous heaps and heaps of of hope and and things just just kind of happen for you, right? And say, like, mm -hmm. um, I was saying this in an earlier conversation uh, today that um, one of my favorite sayings is "believing is seeing." Okay. Because if you believe it, it'll it will appear. Yes. 
Yeah. And humans have such a hard time with that. They want to they see it the other way first. around. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so it's definitely our human struggle, for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like, and um, there's a, lo- a lot of amazing amazing things that we can do when we, when we actually apply faith. Right. Yeah, and if you want to take it to a science point of view, because I, I know you said your viewers love the science, um, it's a quantum theory that um, what you focus on expands. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, for an example, when you buy a red car, everybody all of a sudden has red cars. Um, so it doesn't mean the blue cars went away. You're just focusing on the red cars. So when you shift that into um, focusing on where your life is grateful and where you, where you again, have the light, uh, you're going to see more of it. But at the same time, if it's you're focusing on I'm having a rough day, you're going to see more reasons to have a rough day. Well, the, the, and see, there it is. It, remember how I said earlier that everybody should be living in the light, and mm-hmm. with all the signals and everything around it, we we should we should be. And there's the dark right there. Yeah, and it's funny because I have a little bit different perspective on the dark. I actually adore the dark. Um, some of our greatest moments of genius come from our darkest times. So, good and bad is kind of a judgment around it, and you have, I mean, you have so many amazing speakers that were so successful, and they came from the darkest place of their lives, and if they didn't see that dark, if they didn't feel that broad bottom, they wouldn't be who they are today. So, there really is a power in walking through the dark. Yeah. Well, uh, I could, uh, that holds true for, going back to the the whole quantum theory thing, um, Two of my uh, my mentors in science, uh, of course, are Niels Bohr and Albert Einstein, and they kept pushing through, even though everybody said, "Oh, which what you guys are working on that's just absolutely there." No, it can't possibly. Isaac Newton already figured all that out, even though we still had troubles stumbling. Blah blah blah. It's like. What you're saying t- just can't sim- simply be. And mm-hmm. lo and behold, because of those two men's work, look at what look at the technology that we have. You're sitting, what is it, about 10 miles away from me? Yeah, we're pretty close. <laughs> we're, we're pretty close, <laughs> but, we're, but we're, not in the, we're, we're not in the same room. But through the, through the, mu- through the, the, the uh, musing of science... That we're able to actually sit in the same room. Yeah. And, and it's so I, cool how close we feel. I love it. Yeah. See? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, it's really amazing. So, that, but, uh, but it this, so yeah, in like the, if we don't have the dark, we can't have the light either, right? Correct. There's that theory if stars wouldn't shine bright at all if they weren't in the night. So it's a, it's kind of a cool thing. And I think my, I mean, really what I help women with when we talk about trauma is um, finding the balance, owning, owning both sides, right? Loving all of you, um, mm-hmm. loving the shadows, loving the good, the bad, the ugly, um, and just really, really showing up whole, right? Allowing yourself to be that whole being that we've come here to be. Would you say that accepting that the, the trauma had it has happened and that it's a part of you and um, I'm not saying that it, it isn't it isn't it isn't sad or it isn't uh, hurtful or any of that sort of stuff but but when you get down to that if it hadn't happened you wouldn't be the person that you are that you can find some gratitude in it happened yeah sometimes. Um, honestly, some things just suck, though. Like, I, I work with women that have some really, really, really intense stories. Um, mm-hmm. I'm my, my specialty is trauma, so um, I have women that have gone through things that make you want to puke. Um, there's no, sometimes there's just no gratitude I, to be found in that. Yeah. There is uh, a disconnection we can make, though, and there is um, releasing the charge of the emotion and the event. So that it can just be something that happened, not something that rules your life. Right. Um, and that, that's the piece that we come from. I, I do understand the, the turning things into gratitude, and that's wonderful um, in most cases. Uh, but like I said, I'm a specialty in the really intense trauma and the complex uh, PTSD. Um, and the, honestly, the women that are ready to give up and walk yeah. out the door. I can't tell you how many women who have said, yeah, yesterday I was thinking about killing myself. 
and they never think of it again once we're sorted. So right. it's, it's a, an honor yeah. to be part of that. Yeah. No, there, there are there are some things that... Um, that are evil, honestly. Yeah, it, there's, yeah, there's, there's, no, there's no other way of putting it, right? Yeah, and yeah. And yeah. I'm trying to think <laughs> of a... a, a no. <laughs> A, a diffused way of putting it, but no, yeah, no, there, there is very evil in this world. There are things that can happen that, yeah, just, yeah. But if you are watching this and you are one of those people that have experienced that that deep darkness, um, please know that there is a way through it. I can, I can absolutely it, help you. You don't need to give yeah. up. You know, at uh, toward towards. Towards the end end of the show, and 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 it won't be too many more minutes till till we get to the part where I'm going to get, make sure that you have enough information from Teresa that you can either contact her or contact somebody that is nearby you that can help you. If that's at all possible, right, Teresa? For sure. Yeah. Make yeah. sure you reach out. Yeah, because there are there are some things that uh, simply simply put in our human lives that are unforgivable. Um, I, and I challenge you on that. We'll work on that too. But you're right. There is probably using the wrong there's word. Some but there's yeah, some there's some stories. there's some some stories yeah. that, out there that they. they I just want have. people to know, and any viewers, and and my my idea with all of this stuff is just to show up where I'm needed. Um, so right. if this aligns and you wanna you wanna hear more, please reach out. Let's hear more. Let's talk yeah. more. I do fifteen minute free chats. Um, and it's amazing what we can shift in just that itty bitty amount of time. Yeah. Yeah. And it's it it, it it never ceases to amaze me what um some of the things that I've heard that we I just couldn't simply broadcast um because it's just too out there. Um <sighs> that as like wow and you made it through the through the other end is like um, right? you know miracles every day yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. i love it here's a good que a question for you mm -hmm. because um going back to that gratitude thing and of course that expansive thing that what you focus on is what you see more of right mm -hmm. um miracles Yes. If you try to believe that that sometimes it could be the even smallest things would be surprised at the larger things that we might find as 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 miracles. So you want me to speak on miracles? I have well, miracles happening in my life every day. Yeah, because I know you have miracles <laughs> happening in your life every day. Yeah, I do. You, I have a spirit shows up and knocks my socks off on a regular basis, uh -huh. um, which is actually pretty cool. about what I do, I always got bored in all my other jobs. I've I've done many, many, many careers, um, but this is the only thing I've ever done that every day surprises me um it, whether it's a confirmation or a card or a aha moment or a download or a connection or an opportunity um i mean i guess it depends what you think a miracle is but i i literally see spirit and creator in everything that i get to do yeah. um and to me that's a miracle that i i even found this position in life let's see there it is there's there's our miracle <laughs> and <laughs> you know, it is some some things just simply making it out the for for some people just making it out the door that is yeah. the miracle. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it really is, yeah. and and I I so honor that. So yeah, mm -hmm. and that's kind of what I what I was getting at, and you led right into it. Yay. <laughs> Give me a, give me an opportunity to tell a story. I love it, Michael. Yeah. I, lo I love to share. So, um, going back to, to way back when when I fir first met you, um, you actually had a relationship podcast. No, it was a. It was you were doing it with somebody else. Yeah, Julie and I were doing some fun stuff. I don't think it was on relationships. It was about connections. Uh, similar though, and we. Oh my goodness, I've done so many amazing things. I also we also did a a business group called Gold, which was uh, Goddesses of Light and Direction, yeah. and 
we, uh, oh my goodness, I, uh, thousands and thousands of beautiful projects I've been co-creating with people uh, over the last decade. It's, it's yeah. really amazing. Well, yeah. So so it's, it's it's like you because you still have that 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 bounce in your personality. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just coming up. I was just waking up. I was just feeling safe to be seen. Thank you yeah. for recognizing it there so early. Yeah. So, oh, no, I was I was kind of kind of a fan of it, you know. Um, and then you know s- stuff happens you you got to go your own direction and you, then uh, and then something happened and in social media all of a sudden it's like hey i know her how she doing <laughs> and we yeah and we realigned and we recon- i love it and, and we reconnected yeah. yeah and i found out that it's like you're still doing a lot of what um what she used to help me with Thank you. Uh, yeah, I, I get to add to the skills all the time. That's cr- that's great. And um, the nice thing about having the massive toolbox I have now, there's always something I can help with. So really, depending on what level you're at, uh, whether you're at the beginning, middle, or maybe even at the end, I help people leave this world as well. Um, there's going to be a tool that we can pull out to assist. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I do volunteer. Um, I volunteer volunteer my camera work and everything towards um, helping those those who are left. And I had the I, I can't I can't sh- I, sorry guys I can't show you, show you this right off. But um, especially if if you're listening on the on the audio part of this, it, it's not gonna it, it gonna happen. To, uh, I'll be able to show it to you. But um, I was at a Dove release, and this woman was showered when she released her Dove. She was showered, literally showered in white feathers. Wow! Yeah, I I hunted her down like like, like crazy uh, through uh, through the organization and everything, and to make sure she got that that photograph because I was like, you are supposed to. I have this photograph. I don't care how you pr- get, get it printed, frame it, whatever you want to do, but you need to have this photograph because it's like someone wanted you to have this. Well, what a gift to capture it. Well done. Yeah. So, but it's like th- that's some th- some of the things that we do to help people, right? Yeah. Well, and really, you're freezing time. You're freezing energy. You're the the information that you and I are leading today and, and sharing, this can go on to echo for generations, for thousands. Um, yeah. What an amazing gift. So thank you for sharing and, and even inviting me to be on here today. I really, really appreciate it. Well, you accepted my invitation. Yeah, you know. Keep asking and say yes. I'm a yes girl. <laughs> it's a two-way street. Right? Yeah, for sure. It takes two. I love it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's... I don't even remember how we how we actually first met. Um, I, I just think it was unalienable. Mm, maybe. Yeah, I met a lot of really great people on Alignable. Actually, it was a it's a little tiny networking group, but just it has a really great soul. Yeah. yeah. I just I just remember getting getting invited over over to your house. Um, when you were first starting, and then I drove past it ten times. It's like made you work for finding me, did they? <laughs> yeah, it's like that can't be right. So, you know, it's like, I love it. You know, somebody is, is, is somebody. Somebody said, "No, we're going to make him work this. We're going to confuse him for a little bit, and then we'll let him in the door." Right? There you go. Yeah, he's got to really want it. He's got to yeah. really want this connection. I love it. <laughs> so, yeah, I finally wanted. It. I just parked the car, and I was just like, "I'm going to walk until I fi- until I find it." And then I, I realized that I, at that point, I had parked right in front of your house. Well, there you go. You were you were already there and you didn't even know it. Isn't that a great <laughs> it was, metaphor? That was the determination, right? It's like, oh no, he's determined enough. He earned it. <laughs> I like it. Oh, yeah. that's a great metaphor. <laughs> so, but is 
it was a, a really really fun thing to to actually uh, meet up with you and and to be able to hang out with you for a little while um, so I want to, those women who really need to 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 find you yeah they would need to find that that place and the reason that's the reason why I brought that up is that I drove past it ten times until I was just determined uh, I'm gonna find this and and I went and I'm gonna gonna meet Teresa um, because there's there's women out there that they they have that determination they need to find you and it's like how are they gonna do that and what is the no. message you did you have for them to help guide them to you right now Really, I just, if you've got an inclination, let's look into it, right? Um, you can, I said book a free chat uh, on my website, which is blended-spirit.com, um, or connect with you to, to find my details. Um, but just, like, kind of dip a toe and see if it works for you. There's, there's no pressure, right? And like mm -hmm. you said, it's fun. I deal with a lot of darkness, but we also laugh a lot. Like, we have a really good time when we do sessions here. So, you're, it's not like traditional healing where you maybe you've been in counseling for 10 years and you cry every time and you feel like shit for a week. That's You're not going to get that here. Um, when you come here, we laugh, we learn, we build, we grow, and you leave spectacular. Like, you feel better than you ever thought you could um, every single session. So I don't do the dark, deep healing crisis. I do the light and unfolding and unlocking. So if if you're ready for something different and you found this podcast or or this this radio or however you're finding us, um, it's meant for you. So tap in and see see what it looks like. Cool, and it is blended dash spirit dot com. com. Yeah. Blended if you Google Blended Spirit. Spirit, dude, you'll find me. I've got yeah. I've got <laughs> eight presences online. I've got you can do Reiki healing near me. Uh, you can do counseling, a uh, hypnotherapy. Um, I massively invest in marketing, um, and I've got well over sixty Google reviews now. So um, just Google Blended Spirit and find me. Yeah, it's been awesome, Teresa. Thank you. I so appreciate this time. Yeah. It, it flew past faster than we thought. Yeah. Do you want to do a card before we go? Sure. Yeah. Okay. So one of the fun things I do are oracle cards. And these queen of the moon oracle were staring at me the whole time we were talking. So I thought maybe we'll do a card. Uh -huh. So how it works is you ask me a question, they give you an answer. So do you have a question, Michael? Uh, do I have a question? Um, we can do one for the viewers or we can do one for you personally. It's up to you. What do I do for one for me personally? Just to see see how this, this goes. Sure, try uh, it on. I love it. <laughs> uh, let's see. What is really burning in my mind right now as, as, as we're talking? Um... And it has to it has to do with uh, with with family and family connections uh, coming coming closer to visit. Okay, cool. Um, do you want to leave it at that, or do you want to get deeper? Let's, let's leave it at that because I don't want okay. to get it. Okay. So the card that showed up is beauty. Can you see this Ooh. card? Yes. We see now the, the fun thing about this card is if you flip it upside down, uh -huh. what do you see? Not really anything. I s no. But here we can see this beautiful face. So when we're talking about this family connections and, and the behind the scenes question you asked me, it's going to largely depend on your perspective. Okay. So this is more in your power than you're giving it credit. And if you come from a place of beauty, obviously, um, you're going to see more beautiful things about it. If you come from the place of connection, you'll see more of that. If you come from the place of annoyance, you're going to definitely see more, more of that. Mm. 
there's an irritation there that I feel underneath the, it's like a frizzle. Oh, I, I, I could get into the irritation, but we'll, yeah, yeah. we'll save that for, for, uh, yeah. for off air. So, yeah. Thank you for listening, everybody. Uh, please do click that subscribe button wherever you see it. Um, and we really appreciate Teresa coming on the show and talking about how she actually does help people with, um, with that trauma. And please do go and find her. It is blended-spirit.com. Perfect. Thank you. This show has been produced by Depictions Media. Please contact us at depictions.media for more information.